Has Sebastian been in here? He's got long black hair. Don't, I don't think he's got a job. Okay, well, I'll just look. I'll just look at the back. Welcome everyone, this is The Late Bloom. I'm your host, Radiant J, and I appreciate you guys joining me for episode three of our 12 part playthrough of Stardew Valley. We're picking up right where we left off. I didn't screw up the episode this time, so it is still exact spot where I was at before at the exact same time, and we still have not been able to meet the final two, but I do have 10 potatoes, so, you know, I guess it evens out. Oh, yes, Caroline. I am Radiant J. Thank you, Caroline. Are you a nice person? I have met Abigail. Thank you. Thank you for being a kind person with, with decency. That's what we need in this world. We need more whatever her name is. I just met her and I already forgot. I do that in real life too. I have 10 friends who I don't know their name actively. Okay, let's clear up some spot. I think right here is gonna fit well with my potatoes. Let's um, dig my potatoes. And yes, that was a, a Cowboy Bebop reference. Thank you, thank you. One potato. I have never actually seen potato seeds. I always just assume you planted a potato. That's what this looks like, right? Little, little potatoes the green guys growing out? Is that how you grow potatoes? If that's the way you grow potatoes, I never knew that. I, wow, look at that. We're learning stuff. Or we're making guesses about stuff that we're equally fascinated about. Or, or I am. What's important is that I'm having a good time here. Let's go down some trees. Just for the fact that you know, they dare encroach upon my farm. How dare they naturally grow in this fertile, fertile, fertile Fertile soil. Let's go meet Sebastian. And then, I don't know if we'll be able to, but if he's gone to the bar, as everyone should on a Thursday night, I will get to meet him. It'll be great. And we'll have met every single person that's available in year one. Spoilers. At least, other than potentially some people, uh, no one's commented on my horrendous duck beard. This is not the way to the bar. Hey, has, has, has Sebastian been in here? He's got long black hair. I don't, I don't think he's got a job. Okay, well, I'll just look, I'll just look at the back. Well, maybe I'll play some Journey to Prairie King while I wait. Oh, I need to do this, I need to use the... I always like this game. And she did say the spirits were going to bless me, so if there's ever a time, I'm just gonna move you, thank you. Oh, I need the coin. Oh, where's the keys? I can't find the keys. I, my fingers were on the wrong part of the keyboard. So, you know, while the spirits have blessed me in the game, it appears that the spirits in real life have cursed me and my descendants. Uh, but that's okay. You know, what, what good is their blessing? I mean, they're dead, you know? Time to shotgun some zombies. That's all I know. Is that what I'm fighting? I assume it's like zombie dudes with helmets. Or like odd hats. Or it's lizard people. Ooh, machine gun. See, I've played this game before. And you guys didn't even believe me. You guys are like, this guy's f full of daffodils. Here I am, just mowing down zombie lizardmen with my six shooter. Oh, time to go down. Sorry about that. This is a little high octane for uh, my relaxing farm, but hey, you know, there's there's time for excitement on the farm. You know, it's not all just work. Oh, well. There's time for careful measured excitement on the farm. So have fun and don't do anything too foolish, like get killed by a simple simple enemy. Thank you for the money. That's okay. That was the key that I was looking for before. See, this is when I become a zombie. To me, that's like a... Is that a gravestone that I do? But there's lightning. Oh, that would be like the Frankenstein. Because typically Frankenstein's a zombie, right? I mean... I don't know. That's a debate for another time. <laughs> another time. Like, I'm like I'm going to set up my annual Is Frankenstein Technically a Zombie debate. It sounds like it'd be fun for about 10 minutes. 
and then we'd be like, wow, why do we dedicate a whole event to this? Yeah, I already wasted that. Oh, but I wanted the better bullets since we don't have the faster gun. It's fine. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. All right, here we go. I got the fastest, or one of the faster guns in the West now. I don't think that was fair. Sometimes life isn't fair. That's the lesson here. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you just, you're on your game, you're on your six shooting game. Six shooting game. And then other days, you're getting killed by lizard zombies. And they're, and they're spiky boys. If you guys could drop some more stuff, that would just be just tops. Hey guys, yeah, couldn't help but notice no one's dropping that much money. This eight coins is just it's not gonna get me to the end. Oh, ooh, there's money down there. Lots of money. Let's see, thank you guys. You heard me in my moment of need, and it means a lot. Alright, alright. Still got two lives. Is that a cat behind me? It sounded like a cat. No, it's not a cat. It's just me going crazy. I mentioned uh, a couple episodes ago that I have three cats. That is not a lie. I think, and I know one of them is in the room. He's not a fan of the new dog, so we're giving the cats their own space for now while we acclimate everyone to each other. Ooh, thank you. Okay, well, it's all right. I see, you know, it's fine. What's important is that I am a beacon of positivity in a world that desperately needs it. You know, that's that's my outlook here. I'm crushing it, guys. I'm crushing it. Oh, okay, well. When in doubt, nuke it out. This should not be a foreign policy of any country, but... Oh, okay, okay, all right, okay, 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 okay. It's okay. Well, okay, well, we had a good time. We had a good time. We're not frustrated that much. It's always a little disappointing to come up short, but... Hey, you know... What's important is that I needed to meet Sebastian very badly. Please... Please, Sebastian, do it for the valley. And if you're in your home playing computer games all night, one, please go bond with your family. Uh, two, just open, open, open the door. Oh, that's right, back to mouse, back to my mouse. Hey, is your son still here? So I can do one of two things. I can creepily wait outside your home until he returns, or, thank you, see, thank you. Now, don't think it's the most exciting thing to do just to wait for your for your child to return but I, I might need to do this because if I miss him and it's not until day five until I've met everyone in the town that's what we call not going at our own pace because my pace was faster I assume he does come home on Thursdays and if you know obviously he's a grown man maybe I mean, you can marry him, so yes, I assume he's at least 18, still lives with his parents, nothing wrong with that. He's pursuing his passion, I think. I don't actually know a lot about Sebastian's backstory. I don't spend more time interacting with him outside of waiting for him to get home at night. Okay, well, I guess I could cut down the tree in your front yard. All right, couldn't help but notice that it's almost 10. did. You know, Sebastian, I've been through a lot today, and if you could just give me this one, I would appreciate it. Greatly appreciate it. And we're off. I see, you know what? Four days. Look at that. No, we're on, we're on track, moving at our own pace. This is exactly where I would have, where I wanted to be, where I felt good about my potato parsnip farm and uh, Pelican Town. So tomorrow, the world's our oyster. All right, tomorrow we're giving a gift. I'm just gonna roll the dice because I only remember a few gifts. Buttes. Luck won't be on my side, but it will. See, let me tell you about fortunes. Make your own fortune. Oh. Morris. Morris is a fun name. Yes. Look at that. We're just accomplishing so many goals. Oh, just build a coop. Okay, I'll just, you know. Just go on and build a coop, I guess. Oh, look at that. We're just, money's falling out of the sky. We're doing so good. 12 parsnips. Guys, this is, this is a big milestone. This marks our first harvest. Feels good. 
That is the, the feel the warm sensation that we're all feeling right now. That is the sensation of a job well done. You know, when I say um, a job well done is its own reward, well, they're incorrect and totally disconnected, but what they mean is that there is a positive side to seeing the fruits of your labor. And that's what we're doing here and on Innocence Farm. That's why I named it, right? I, yes. I think I even double-checked the spelling. But then again, I also thought the mystical creatures were called Jujumos, so what do I know? What do we got going on today? It's the 5th. It's nobody's birthday. I can go see what it would take to build a coop, see what we can't do to start getting some chickens on a farm here. I won't be able to buy any vegetables till tomorrow because I put them in the shipping bin instead of selling them directly to Pierre, which in hindsight was probably a good way to slow myself down, but hey, you know, it was, it was very symbolic to throw those those power snips in the, in the shipping bin, so I'm still, I still feel good about this game. You know, I spent a lot of this game uh, waiting for uh, someone to open up the store or someone to, um, uh, to, to come home at night. That's the side of my chair. Uh, yeah. That doesn't sound like that, but that's what that is. If you can even hear it. Maybe you couldn't hear it and I just make it up. Weird stuff. All right, almost nine o'clock. What, what's, what's in here? Is this your car? No roads. I, I did it. So, if I wanted to farm... Oh. It's $4,000 for a coop. And what do I have? 137 Georginas. I don't think they do financing. So, we'll have to earn money the good old-fashioned way. Threatening people with a scythe. Just kidding. This is the random discolored little stone dude. They bug my OCD just a little bit. Hello, dog. I hope you're having a... Oh. I hope you're having a fine cardboardy day. I couldn't help but notice that like that trash is just there. Is that is that something you want to do? Uh, the name's Ra Radiant J, but you know, farmer guy works. Football guy. Hello, Lewis. It's like another passive aggressive warning. I'd hate to see it all dried up. I'd hate to see what might happen to you if the farm didn't do well. I poisoned your grandfather when he got slack. Just kidding. No one's like that here. I think it's the ice cream stand. Maybe we could do some fishing at the beach. That's the exciting time I'm talking about. Ooh, more worm hands. Just kidding. It was a book. Did, did I, I assume Gunther took it from me? I, I mean, I get it. You wouldn't want to, like, film that cutscene every time. Why did my character want to keep it? You know, this is actually also bothering me. If you could just... Like, what about my library connection? collection? Connection. I got a nice little, little brow here. So we're going to take time. Oh, here we go. I feel like there should be like a like an epic soundtrack in the background. No, there, no, there shouldn't. Please, please don't have there be an epic soundtrack while I battled the one-inch sardine. I certainly can't cast there. Ooh, more stuff. Oyster, just right on the beach. Delicious. Hey, Elliot. I agree. So he calls it the valley. Some people call it the town. I mean. Is there an actual valley? Can a coastal area be a valley? I don't know. I'm not a geographist. I'm just a simple duck bird person trying to build his way. Life's better with Jojo. Can I clean this up? It's an odd flavor. I mean, it obviously brings life in this game. It's absolutely fantastic, but I just want to clean up the trash, make my town a better place, drive out those who refuse to cooperate with my new utopia. Like, what? Like, come on. Like, like, this is unacceptable. No no amount of butterflies can, and, and dancing flowers can make this situation appeasing to me. And and then the, the poor dog is still living in a cardboard box with... Who who do you belong to? Who do I even yell at? You, whoever came out of the door? Was it the butterfly? Nothing in the garbage for me to eat. Hey, Grandma, I mean, Evelyn. Well, it's about 3.30, time to have a beer. Always. Right? Same. Especially when you're having fun here. Let's put one bump and tune on. Let's put... Distant banjo. I've got cats trying to get in. That's okay. They just have to, they have to live with it for the moment. 
Well, let's see. Since I have to save up 4,000 Georginas and get 400 sticks and 100 stones, I better start that. That coop's not going to build itself. The carpenter's going to build it. And I'm going to finance it and provide the materials. So I guess I'm just paying for labor. It's a good thing that it only takes a million swings to get some wood. I'm sorry, Trees. I hope you understand. It certainly isn't anything personal. And I will use your corpses to erect a chicken coop. And I will name them all after trees. I'm not going to name them after trees. I'm trying to think of fun tree-cutting commentary to just you know slide in here to keep us all rolling in our seats. Uh, but instead, what I'm doing is I'm staring blankly as my duck person monotonously monotonously I don't know if that's the right word just either way continues to chop on this wood I'm only about a jillion away oh wait, I'm actually closer than I thought I'm only 261 away I'm gonna leave this tree here I like where this tree is it just feels right I'm gonna let you guys I can't wait you guys connect for some reason because I'm weird but that's just gonna make me feel good on the inside and that's what this this whole place is about feeling good on the inside. Oh, I need to make room for you, don't I? Let's go ship my seafood. Boop. Boop. Oh, I could have pulled the parsnips out to sell them directly to Pierre if I wanted, but no. Milestone. Major milestone. Thank you. It takes too many chops. It's interesting that no trees that would require this trunk are alive anywhere on my farm. Could you well, I'll tell you where they are. This is the this is the this is the big secret that no one ever talks about. Boom. That's where all that wood came from, or is and is inaccessible to me. <sighs> sure would come in handy to build a coop. Sure would be useful. Guess I'll just chop it all by hand so I can learn the value of hard work and building character. Thanks, Gramps. Oh, ooh, I'm exhausted. Don't want to push ourselves. Let's let's take it easy, guys. Let's let's relax here for a second. Good progress. Fantastic progress. Good job, me. You know what? I know it's a spring, but boom! Now it is cozy as the Dickens. I would like to go to sleep tonight. I would love to be able to go to sleep at 8 p.m. any point in my life anymore. Right, look at that. Level one farming. I believe that was a goal. I believe we just did a goal, guys. Or or doing something. And look at that. Double double level ups. What did I do to deserve this? That's a lot of Georginas. And just and it's only day six. This is mm, feeling good. We're almost to four thousand. And it's still gonna be that beautiful weather. And the spirits are annoyed with me, you know. Hey, I can't win them all. Did I water my potatoes yesterday? I'm pretty sure I watered my potatoes yesterday. Potatoes, if I didn't water yesterday, I apologize. Here you go. Drink up. I definitely recommend the water. It has been sitting stagnant in this random pond that I have here uh, for probably decades. I think today we'll, we'll just chop some more wood. We'll get back on track to getting ourselves that coop. That sounds right. That, sounds, that feels right. Come on, when I say that, those words. Mm. Okay. But I do think we are out of time for this episode. Thanks again for joining in. Uh, this has been The Late Bloom. I'm Radiant J, and I hope you guys have a radiant day. Take care. Oh, okay. Well, when in doubt, nuke it out. Well, that's about 3.30. Time to have a beer. Good job. Me. And that terrifies them? Just kidding. If you like wrestling, do your thing. I'm just messing around. You have to admit, he kind of looks a little bit like a professional wrestler. Maybe not with the hat. No, definitely with the hat. The hat seals the deal.